This is a big news. Android is coming for PC officially from Google. Recently, there have been some rumors and leaks about the, this is big, okay? This is big, that Google is replacing Chrome OS with Android. And the upcoming Pixel laptops will likely run Android, not Chrome OS. Uh, there are some exclusive Pixel laptop development, you know, uh, leaks like it's running the Android. I can't actually tell if it's Android or Chrome OS because Chrome OS actually looks like this, but we don't know how Android OS on laptop or PC looks. Maybe it looks similar to Chrome OS. Yeah, everybody, everybody is talking about whoever like talks about the Chrome OS and Android are actually talking about this. So it looks like this is actually happening. Google is turning Chrome OS into Android to compete with the iPad. You know what that means? We can install that Android OS on any PC. As you guys know, you can actually install Chrome OS on any PC. There is this open source project called Brunch. With this, you can actually install Chrome OS on any PC. You don't need a Chromebook to enjoy the Chrome OS, okay? And as you guys know, there is a official version of Chrome OS called Chrome OS Flex that is available for any PC or Mac. Whenever this transition happens, uh, you know, whenever Google replaces the Chrome OS with Android, we'll also be able to run that operating system on our PC. Maybe Google will also release that operating system, that Android OS uh, for any PC, like they did with the Chrome OS Flex. As of now, there is no official version of Android OS for PC. It's meant for phones. But now if this happens, you know, Android is actually going to be available for PC. Maybe some of you guys know this. You can actually install Android OS on your PC right now. It's not official, but there are actually some operating system based on Android for PC. One of the most popular Android OS for PC is called Bliss OS for PC. This is basically a Android which you can install on any PC. I also did a video in this operating system before. This is actually one of the best Android operating system if you want to run Android on your system. But there is one downside that you can't game, at least not with the mouse and keyboard. If you have a touch device, good, you can game and all that. But if you don't have a touch device, you have a PC or laptop which doesn't support touch, yeah, you won't be able to play complicated games, like which requires a lot of controls, you know? Uh, so yeah, but rest like simple games like Clash Royale or Candy Crush, something which requires simple touches. Yeah, you can play those games, no problem. As you guys know, again, I'm saying this again and again, Android isn't meant for PC. It is meant to run on a phone and it is highly optimized for phones. Okay, it's not gonna run that well on PC. Even if we have some options like Bliss OS, we'll always have some problems here and there. But if Google makes Android OS for PC officially, that's gonna change a lot of things. Yeah, there will be a new competitor in the market to compete with Windows, Mac, Linux, and all that. As you guys know, Chrome OS can actually run Linux applications. I think that won't change. Maybe Android OS for PC will also be able to run Linux applications. That will be huge, actually. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I think Android can do it if it becomes a PC OS. And we know the app and game support. We can install millions of apps and games from the Play Store, so there is no issue there. And there is this thing called Samsung DeX, uh, which is also a really amazing project from Samsung. Basically, uh, you can turn your Samsung phone into a desktop operating system, or yeah, I mean, you can connect your phone to a external monitor and you can you know use your mouse and keyboard and you can use your samsung phone as a computer yeah full-blown computer you can see the screenshots here this feature is only available for like high-end devices i think flagships like s20 something like s22 3 4 uh, let me check yeah 
Uh, it's it's only available for Samsung S series and Note series. Note series is dead, I think. Yeah, after the Note 20, they are only releasing the S series. Yeah, so these are the phones that are supported and these are all like high-end devices, you know, flagship devices. Imagine something like that, but officially from Google like official Android OS that you can install on your PC. Plus you can also do a dual boot and all that. And hopefully we'll see Chrome OS Flex like, you know, distribution from the Google for PCs, maybe Android OS Flex or something. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or any suggestions for me, or you want to say something on this topic, then please do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, are you excited for Android OS for PC or not? Let me know in the comments. I am actually excited for it. I wanna see some competition, <laughs> that's for sure. Maybe it won't be able to defeat the Windows Mac, but for some people, like I'm just stretching this too much. As you guys know, there is Linux too, which is used by three or 4% of the population, which is not a lot compared to the Mac and Windows, but still some people just absolutely love Linux. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say here. Android for PC is actually going to be a good thing at least for some people if it's not for 100 or 50 10 percent of the people but for some it has millions of apps and games and yeah some people will find it really useful i'm pretty sure okay yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.